Our next guest uh, just came out with a list. He's a presidential historian, uh, and Joe Biden is on this list. It's a list that he probably didn't think that he would be on on Inauguration Day 15 months ago. But check out this tweet from Craig Shirley. The five worst presidents in history are Franklin Pierce, James Buchanan, Millard Fillmore, Herbert Hoover, and yes, Joe Biden, who's only been commander in chief for 14 and a half months. Joining us now for more on the five worst presidents of all time, according to Craig Shirley, is Craig Shirley himself. Good to see you, Craig. You this morning. Um, I'm doing well. Uh, I'm surprised. No Andrew Johnson, no Jimmy Carter on this list. Well, they're, they're, they're a close second. Uh, it's a dubious list. Uh, but I but I looked at all five presidents carefully and uh, came to the conclusion, especially Joe Biden. You know, uh, Newton's second law is that for every uh, for every so an object in motion has a tendency to stay in motion. Joe Biden is at 40 percent approval only in his first year as president, and he's headed downward. Nothing is going right on his watch whatsoever. So you can draw historical conclusions even after only one year. Well, inflation's at 7.9 percent right now. Uh, the country is in the middle of a border crisis that goes on um, with no end in sight. I, I think it's interesting, too, and I wanted to get your take on this. So after a Democratic president leaves office, uh, the media just, they, they fall all over themselves to anoint this person, the best president of all time. Barack Obama is really high on the greatest president's list. Bill Clinton is really high on the list. Now, when it comes to Republican presidents, like you think about George H.W. Bush, really low when he left office. Now he's really high. Even George W. Bush has crept up on the list. But I think it's fascinating. Donald Trump is now creeping up on lists. What do you make of the, that? Well, because they're starting to separate his, uh, his, his, his policies from his uh, personality or, 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 you know, what they judge as being a, a, a lacking in personality. And they're looking at his policies. You know, who would have thought that there'd be, there'd be Arab embassies in uh, in Israel now? And he did that himself. He, he should have won the, you know, it should have been awarded for that or been, been, been uh, you know, uh, signaled for that. Uh, but he wasn't. He, and, and look at all of his policies uh, that uh, actually uh, worked very well, Com and especially compared to Biden. He looks very good now, especially Biden. And, and as a matter of fact, in head to head polls, you know, he's actually beating Biden. There is a lot. Uh, I've, I've looked into your list. So Herbert Hoover, um, he, of course, was president during the Great Depression, and he did nothing sure. to end the Depression. And that brought us 12 years of FDR. And then Harry Truman. People forget Harry Truman won his own election and was president till January 1953. So we had 20 years of Democratic rule all because of how bad Herbert right. Hoover was. But Fillmore, Franklin Pierce, and James Buchanan, the other three presidents on your list, they're all in and around the Civil War. Uh, Yes. Why? Why did you pick those three? Well, because they couldn't come to a solution uh, to, to solve the problems of slavery. They, they equivocated. They, you know, compromised. Uh, they were pro-slave presidents. Uh, you know, Franklin Pierce was, was essentially uh, the town drunk uh, when he went back to New Hampshire after his one term as president. They, none of them could find a solution to the problem of slavery. And what they did actually made the problem even worse, uh, if that's possible. You know, one president, you know, there was the Runaway Slave Act, and they they abided by that. You know, if a, if a slave ran away to a free state, they were still considered to be slaves uh, to their masters. Um, so it was it was a bad situation, and it only exacerbated by these presidents. Plus, they did their other actions too, as far as uh, trade policies, things like that. Didn't help. They, they they essentially left the country worse off than they found the country when they entered office. Craig, I know you've written about this, and I just want to get your take again. About thirty seconds left. Um, had Abraham Lincoln lived and served out his second term as president, would he be remembered? Uh, the way we all look at him today? Would he be this revered, no. almost mythical figure? Because he was killed right after he signed yes. the Emancipation Proclamation and martyred presidents, again, like John F. Kennedy as well, who only served a thousand days in office, are always, right. are always put up on a pedestal. Right. No, he would, I, I don't think, he, he would have been uh, well thought of for having uh, fought and won the Civil War and ended uh, slavery in America. But he would not be I don't think uh, he is revered uh, today yeah. as, uh, as, uh, as, as he is now. Interesting. Um, I, I, I agree with their entire list, and I, I think Joe Biden, I think it's only going to get worse. My list has Andrew Johnson, though, because Lincoln's killed and Johnson blows sure. Reconstruction. 
We could be a totally different yes. country if it didn't blow Reconstruction. That's a good. That's an excellent choice. Yeah. I, 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 I wrestled with that, but that was, you know, I, you just got to tweet out, tweet out a new list, Craig. Tweet out a new list <laughs> and give me some credit. Okay. Uh, all right. Good seeing you, Craig Shirley. We appreciate the expertise as always. I always enjoy talking with you. Thank you.